we go. As soon as we reach a convenient stopping point here, I'm probably going to pause for this recording, just because... Oh, that didn't work. Um, I guess I gotta jump. Uh, yeah, because we've been recording about an hour here, so... Let's see if we can get to... Hopefully, it keeps checkpointing, so I assume if I pause at that point... No! 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 Mm. Fuck me. I was gonna jump! <laughs> God, the whole game so far, and this is the part that roadblocks me. Come on, Alan. Get it together, man. Focus. Jump! Yay! Good. Good, man. And again. Yay! I can already tell the jumping mechanics in this are not going to be fun. Alright, return to the path above. Yeah, there's a checkpoint. Oh, we'll keep going a little bit longer. Heal up if we needed to, and... Okay. Shotgun ammo! Yeah, how much? Six. Not a hell of a lot, but... Uh, no, don't jump in the air. Use the radio. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do you listen to no one? I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Uh, makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? Oh, Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but when we were pretty far from home and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he's just too dumb for his own good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. Okay, so we might run into a dog, and I really hope I don't have to shoot him. What is that? Mushrooms, I guess? Yeah. Okay. I hope the dog is on our side and not the... isn't taken. Alright, what's on this manuscript page? Wake finds pages! Haha! <laughs> At first Meta. I finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy, or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Okay. So we have to pick these up. I think I probably missed some, so I hope that isn't a huge problem. I'm not gonna go out of my way to look the gas for them, station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best Stuff, batteries, revolver animal, shinies. Let's pull this thing. Yay! Health and why the dramatic music? Uh, this isn't. Oh dear. I need to start dodging. Shit. Oh god. Oh fuck. Ah, oh, fuck me. Die. Ow. Fucking hell. 
I tried to dodge. No. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Good God. Ow. Not good. I need to go. Oh, shit. I need to stand by the light. I need to back up so I can stand by the light. Maybe I can stand in the light and shoot them. That would be useful, wouldn't it? Okay. Let's try this again. much better this time. Are there more of you? Is that everybody? Oh, fuck. Uh. Oh, damn it. Uh. Ow. Fuck. Uh. Shit. Of ammo. Shit. Manuscript page. What's it say? TV in the gas I station. Into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it, without any warning. I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Okay. This day just keeps getting better, doesn't it, Alan? Uh. Almost there, come on. Yay, light! healed up. And please tell me there's ammo in here. Yes! And batteries. Excellent. I'm becoming a big fan of these random boxes full of revolver ammo in the middle of the woods. This must be a really cheerful place day to day. Fuck. Oh, shit. Run! Oh my god, what? Birds. Okay, let's move right along. Oh god. Here they come. Turn around. Boys, no drop batteries. Or ammo. Or anything useful. Another manuscript page. What do we got? Still missing page here. I think I missed a missed one back there. The Wake lies the lake, she asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Okay, so... Sheriff's going to be a good guy, I guess. Assuming we 
we can manage to get. What was that? What was that? I'm not a fan of that noise. Where's the What's happening? Alright, can we get in here? What does that say? Cauldron. Oh, caution. It's a very cautiony sort of place, isn't it? Is that the TV set that's gonna turn? Sweet shotgun. 